Hi guys, it's me Chrissy and I'm here with another new location. This is actually what was behind me while I was filming my wrap up for um, 40 to 45 books. So this is what is my what my other shelf looks like. And fairy lights that connect to nothing because there's no plug near. That's the only place I can like hang it. And um, I'm also using my cousin's lights that she lent me. So as you can see, I'm brighter. All my imperfections are lighted out because of the lights. So it's, it's really great. I'm like really having a good time right now. Okay, so this is 2016 wrap up for books 46 to 50. So the first thing I decided to pick up, I don't know why, but I just decided to, was um, Invisible Monsters by Chuck Palahniuk. This is about a model who gets her face shot off, most of it, and then she ends up um, on a road trip with her, um, I would say, with a guy and a, another person who um, was at the hospital with her. It's, it's just so hard for me to like summarize this because I don't know how much is spoiler and how much I can like say as that it's plot because a lot of this is actually um, like you get through half of the book thinking one thing and then by the other half it's like oh it's a completely different story than what you thought you were reading so really I can't I can't like really um, fully explain about this I all I can say is that if you like Palinuk you know what I'm talking about when I say you gotta read this if you haven't read it yet so this is actually a pretty good one because the only Palinuk I've ever read was um, Fight Club and then I have read a couple of his like short stories but this one was yes it made me realize like you know i really should make him a priority in my in my um reading so then the next book that i finally managed to finish was lady midnight by cassandra clare this chunker is 500 pages also i don't know what took me so long i think it's because i found the the feelings i guess of these chill oh hi lois okay she's gone now anyways I guess I found the feelings of um, the teenagers to be quite juvenile and then like it really made me realize how much older I am by now because I'm like that is just so like immature and then and then um, like the, the love story it was just like ugh. it kind of annoyed me but I really liked all the cameos like um, that were here and um, yeah I guess I mean I look kind of look forward to the rest of this series but at the same time my heart isn't like all in it anymore I don't know I guess I just grew up a bit also I let one of my best friends read this book first and then so I was treated to a lot of her her little notes in here as you can see yeah so it was like reading this book with her we've actually done that a couple times uh, with my group my um, group of friends during the uh, when the last book of Harry Potter came out I believe um, she lent it to a friend and she put her own notes in it and then my other friend put notes in it and then um, when I was able to read it later on I was like reading the book with the both of them it was actually really really fun and then the book after that after Lady Midnight I was like you know I'm I guess I'm kind of hyped for more middle grade still and I was looking through my currently reading shelf which is kind of really high right now because um, I have a lot of books I started and didn't finish and one of them was The Girl Who Circumnavigated Fairyland in a Ship of Her Own Making. This, I don't know what took me so long to get into it, but I think I just really needed to sit down and just like absorb the fact that none of this book will make sense at first. It was very poetic, very prosy, but I can really truly say after reading this book that it was indeed like a really, a fairy tale of a book. Like, you know, things in fairyland don't make sense and their rules aren't exactly going to apply to normal people. And it turns out they have rules for different sets of ways to get to fairyland and... This was just act really like... Yes! I don't know why I didn't like it at first, but once I got into it, it was just a whole yes! And I'm like, I want to read the second book, but at the same time... Um, I wasn't sure how long that was going to take me in case that took a while as well. But I think uh, by the time I pick up the second book, I'm going to be more like relaxed and then I'm gonna enjoy it more not now because I have a lot of stuff going on so
so then the next book I decided to pick up because it's September and I was feeling those you know fall feels even though in the Philippines we don't have fall we just have rain so gloomy anyway same thing I guess and that was the darkest part of the forest by Holly Black this was like when was this 2014 or 2015 everyone was like the new Holly Black book and stuff like that and I'm just like I really want it but I couldn't find it till like months and months later when it was no longer popular and some other book was popular you know how booktube goes so there we go anyways this was actually really really nice because again i was in the mood for like fairies and um in fairyland like things don't make sense however this is like i have to give credit for um holly black she really really knows how to build a world like um this takes place in a town where there is a fairy boy uh, quote, they're not sure if he's dead but he's inside a tree trunk and it's covered by what they think is glass and um, he's just been there asleep for like hundreds of years so everybody around the town knows that like that's that's um, part of fairyland and then like all the townspeople like have this sort of deal with the fairies like you know if you act like a tourist you'll get treated like a tourist and tourists to this town don't actually always survive just only a couple of them and they go there for experiences with fairies so the people of this town just accept the fact that there's fairies and um, and the lore and everything and then even like charms just to prevent like um, danger from fairies but it's just really interesting because the way that Holly Black builds her world it's just everyone just accepts that that's the way it is and it's just so good because you just immerse yourself into this reality that's not really reality and that's really all i have to say about this because like just you know just pick it up if you really want a like a fairy type book that's not so scary uh for like fall i guess add in there okay the last book i decided to pick up is the one i just finished last night um because i was just reading all day and it was just really really nice this book was actually recommended to me by a uh, the sister of a friend of mine and that is The Thief by Megan Whalen Turner. <sighs> this is the kind of fantasy I wish I read when I was younger and it's just the perfect travel, um, mythical um, story that it just really grabbed me. I, I thought this was like you know those ancient times where everyone wore tunics or and stuff like that. There were references to um, Greek mythology or like Greek um, history as well as guns and then watches and um, the author also uh, said that she took inspiration from Greece and um, so a lot of her fairy tales are like um, taken from like the Greek perspective but she twisted it into her own and that's really really cool and this is just really I just I don't wanna like spoil this all I know is that this is a really really great fantasy and i highly recommend anybody to just pick this up because it's great for all ages and this is the first book in a series the next book i think is queen of atolia and this has been out for like 20 years now so you know you really should pick this up if you have been looking at it on the shelves for a while so that's it these are all the books that i read for books 46 to 50 in my 2016 wrap up so uh thanks for watching thanks for sticking around i'll see you guys next time bye